let me do my intro let me do my intro oh yeah how do you like my hair scarf even though it shows the whole circumference of my whole head i guess i just have to live with that because <laughs> i not trying to do another one i'm not going to do another one anyway so hi guys welcome back <laughs> oh my god this mirror is just helping look at this the difference my neck looks like the shade of my face if i don't do this see see oh my god i need some lighting classes look <laughs> okay whatever so today's video is going to be another movies makeup and mystery so in today's video i am going to be looking at hi guys so this is the little troublemaker that has been distracting my little video he has been howling for the longest time why are you howling Lin? i'm asking you oh i think he doesn't like the light so bye in today's video i am going to be speaking about the bush baby and the bed the bed oh my god <laughs> the bush baby and the bunk shakers so we're going to start off with the bush baby while i do my brows and my base the bush baby is a myth used to scare boarding school students <laughs> exactly that they learn how to mind their business of staying indoors at night i don't know why the, the boarding school students normally don't want to stay in the rooms in their dorms at night i i am terrified of those areas where the the the, the boarding schools are located because it's very secluded I don't know why that is, but it's like in the middle of nowhere. And then you'll just see a big ass school. Why? I'm confused. But that's how it is. So I guess that's why they want the kids to stay in bed and not scale the fence. To go partying or whatever. Because then the school has to just, you know. I don't even think it's a school because the school doesn't even. Boarding schools don't even promote all this superstitions and everything. It just happens that students are told this even if you don't go to boarding school you're going to know about these things according to the myth the bush baby cries like a baby at night you just hear the cry of a baby from your dorm at night and you're supposed to just ignore it but you know people some curious people try to be as curious as possible they want to go investigate, you know, the little investigators and stuff. They get in trouble and po possibly dead by the end of the story. Moving on. <laughs> they cry like human babies, which is how they got their name. Bush baby. When you do get to one and you see what it is, which is not a human baby as you thought. You freak out and try to run, but then it's too late. You can't. <laughs> Why am I so dramatic about you being frozen in place like magic? Come up to you and it will try to, you know, cut you a deal. Because, you know, everything evil tries to cut people deals. I don't know why that is. But it is. So if any deal is too good to be true, just say no. See? Just say no and just go your way. And let them keep their deal to themselves. I don't know why people are so dumb. So guys, after it freezes you in place, it comes up to you and makes you an offer that you can't refuse. Which is crap. You can refuse it if you want to. Just start praying. All the surahs you know, please recite them when you see them. I just died. <laughs> That's the only way you're going to survive that. Yeah. So it gives you a mat. And... The legend says that all the bush babies have one. They always have a mat with them. So all the bush babies have a mat that they will give you. And they will tell you that if you successfully keep that mat in your possession without giving it to someone for a total of seven days. Oh my god, this is just going to mess it up. I need to. Okay. So, if you keep that mat in your possession for up to seven days without giving it to anybody, all the money in the world, and all the possessions you could ever dream of will be yours. 
basically this bush baby of a legend of a male just wants to play on the greed of humans and if you agree to this deal to you know keep the match with that up to seven days which i know for a fact no one has ever done it because as if you see someone or something giving you that kind of a thing a deal you can't refuse nine times out of ten they know a loophole or a way out of that same deal so please just be smart and not stupid <laughs> foundation <laughs> the legend doesn't say what happens when you decline i guess he will let you go home but i'm not sure but i think that's what the, that's what is going to happen if you decline that means you are not greedy and people that have like good hearts aren't supposed to die that's me speaking from a moral standpoint <laughs> I don't know what happens if you what it won't tell you is that during those seven days the bush baby is gonna come back and try to collect its mass I said it I said it it will violently with violence <laughs> try to take its mass back of course because this mythical creature, creature <laughs> what the heck's a creature <laughs> this mythical creature has you know um magical powers of course they're gonna easily take it because did you really think it was going to be easy to keep a match just just keep a mat for seven days and you'll be rich that's stupid <laughs> given its magical powers it will most likely end with you in a gruesome death you know maybe your limbs will be chopped off maybe an eye removed from its socket you know some fingers thrown across your feet you know, like your teeth found in your butt, anything can happen. And that, my beautiful human earthlings, is how the bush baby kills its own victim. And that is the summarized version of the story of the bush baby, or what I could find on the internet. Okay, done. So, Maybe you can say hi. No! <laughs> Say hi. Oh, say hi. Come on, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> you said you'd be, you'd be you said you you said you open like. Yes, know. but now it's evening. That's why. But you can say hi. Come on, say hi. Say hi to Fatima. You don't know Fatima. Fatima. Yes, Fatima. Fatima. Are you video calling her? No, it's only a video. It's my screen, right? Hi, Fatima. <laughs> hi, Fatima. <laughs> the alarm bug don't fall. <laughs> hi. Some people who can see them by look. Yeah, they do. Even I do sometimes. If I'm wearing a bright colored lipstick because I'm dark, I have to. Bye, guys. I'm waiting for some lachi. Some lachi. Like three. <laughs> you have to ask your mama first before we film a video. My, my sister is here inside. I know, but if we are filming, we have to ask. Oh, okay. Her. You're probably going to film because you're older than me. Since you're old. I'm old! <laughs> hey! Oh my Wait, god! I'm old! Oh my god! Alright, bye! Okay. <laughs> so, back to the video! Second myth I want to talk about is the bunk shaker. So, the bunk shaker is also a myth that haunts boarding school. I, I hope you, I know you guys guess that. Boarding schools in Nigeria, to be more specific. So according to the legend, it shows up at night. Of course, at night. Everything evil happens at night. Yes, we get the gist. Moving on. So it shows up at ho in the whole cells at night and only attacks people that sleep on the top bunk. So if you don't want that, this mythical creature to just find you, you need to sleep on the bottom bunk. Yeah, that's not a good idea. I hate the bottom bunk. People like the bottom bunk, but I don't. It just, it's annoying because the top bunk, especially if someone farts a lot, <laughs> if they fart a lot, you're going to get really nice concoction of smells in your mouth, nose, even in your eye socket is going to enter. I guess that's why I hate the bottom bunk as well. It's easier, more accessible to the crowd floor, but... Going back to the story, from its name, you already know what's going to happen when it attacks. It just begins to shake and shake the bed. 
and only the person that is asleep on the top bunk will be able to feel it interesting right maybe to punish them for farting and just get, making the life of the people on the bottom bunk hell i guess <laughs> it first starts to shake gently you feel like you're being rocked you know getting like the best sleep of your life then it becomes very violent you start to feel the bed shaking a little bit more violently than you would like it to be shaked would you like your bed to be shaked i feel like yeah i do because my mom i like babies like it so why would i i feel like if babies like to be rocked to sleep i would like to who would do that please someone volunteer i will not pay you i will just thank you <laughs> i feel like thanking someone is better than paying them sometimes so yeah <laughs> besides the point let's go back to the story it just shakes and shakes and shakes being very persistent until you wake up this is what it wants though that's the reason for all the shaking and then it just drags you out because now you're awake you've seen him you can't leave no witnesses and then it just drags you out and then you're never to be seen again i'm using this you guys didn't know for my contour yeah it's so dark i could use like four shape five out of all these shades to do my contour and it comes out looking like this beautiful right it's so warm toned that i'm so obsessed it's not like ashy that's what i love and then i use this to kind of set my face as well so back to the story you're never to be seen again which means you're either disappeared kidnapped sold somewhere or you're dead either way you're gone and people might miss you if you're a good person others might not because we all have enemies so yeah that's the story of the bunk shaker okay we're all gonna go so, so the third myth i want to talk about today is pinky pinky i'm using this of course you guys know this this is what i'm using for the eyes the pinky pinky is a myth that haunts bathrooms at night and this i think it's a woman like with pink hair and this myth has a fetish and the fetish of this myth is that she likes to confiscate anything you're wearing that's pink i feel like it said it is said in the myth um legend that this myth likes a chant has a chant that people do if they want to meet her or sometimes she just appears in the bathroom and just steals your pink panties yes you didn't see that coming did you this is a south african myth though i've never heard of it in nigeria i just found it online and i thought this is quite interesting why would someone be obsessed with pink underwear but like to each his own i am not going to judge this case so that is how pinky pinky kind of terrorizes kids and sometimes if you don't have the pink underwear to give her then that's where the problem arises stuff happens most likely ending in your death period <laughs> and i know you guys will be asking zara how did this escalate so quickly from saying uh she's a myth that likes pink stuff to killing i don't make the rule i don't invent these stories I grew up hearing these stories and others well i i grew up hearing some of these stories not all of them just this pinky pinky but the rest i've heard of so i guess i don't make the rules maybe i might start discussing movies only god knows i feel like i should discuss movies that would be very interesting can i do that doll will you guys watch that doll because my view rate is crippling it's so sad i feel like screaming every time i see them i don't even check my view count right now <sighs> yeah guys i don't i really don't i just don't feel like it's good for my mental health i'm just doing this for fun anyway so we're just gonna go back to this og feeling of me just filming when i want to and uploading it just for the fun of it not for views or anything i kind of lost my own direction because i could remember when i started i was in 
I think 300 level. I was really enjoying, uh, actually it was 200 level, right? University. Um, and now I'm about to get, you know, take my oath and be officially an official pharmacist. And that's like, now it's like about six, six years, I guess, because of the coronavirus stuff. And I had to be delayed a year. Unfortunately, the Nigerian system of learning, in the Nigerian system of learning, you just have to be patient and take things as they are. But I feel like God's time is the best and a lot of time is now. So, yeah. So, it's been a while. I have had this channel for five years. Can you guys believe it? Because I can't. <laughs> I really can't. But, you know, look at where we are. I'm just going to go and do the other eye and I'll be back. If you want to know what I'm talking about, it is amazing on the skin, like magic. Do we look that you want easily? See? And you just blend it out on your powder. You're telling me that my battery is low. Cool. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And tell me which of the next you would like to meet. I would like to meet any of them, please. I love my sanity and I would like to stay the same for quite some time till I get old and die. And yeah, I feel like I'm looking a little bit too flat. But it's fine, I guess. We've achieved something. My nose just looks a little bit too flat. Yes, it does. So we're just going to change the vibe things okay. okay I'm not bad mad about this at all mm -hmm. okay thank you for hanging out with me today and I hope you guys learned some new myths and you I hope I kept you guys entertained even though someone just called me old <laughs> yeah so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video and yeah don't forget to subscribe follow me on my socials yeah the basic blog which is instagram and tiktok same username as Zara's Ram. and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys